100, and we're going to be discussing how to format your labels. Now, this is a two-part series, so here in part one, we're going to go over the formatting buttons and what options you have, and then in part two, we'll dive into making a label. So let's get started. Now, the LWPX300 has a few different formatting buttons, and they're arranged here on the keypad. Let's start here with the font size button. Now, this printer is designed to default to making the font as big as it can given the label parameters. So you can go ahead and change it if you need it something other than that. If you have multiple lines of text, you can choose to have one line bigger than the other. You can have them the same. You've got several different options. So just scroll through the different options that apply to your label and press return on the one you want. Now the next option is this button here. This is your font type. Now the LWPX300 has 14 fonts built into it, so you can go ahead, trigger that button on, and then use your arrow keypad to scroll through the different options. When you find the one you want, press return and it'll automatically be applied to your label. Now the next option is this little button here with your screwdriver and wrench. This is gonna have several different setting options, so let's take a look at what's here. The first option is the label length. Now the PX300 is gonna to default to being on an auto length. It's just gonna make it as long or as short as whatever you type in. But if you want it on a preset length, you can select that here. The next option is the margins. You have two options. You can leave them as normal or none. The next option is layout. This allows you to left, right, justify, center your text. Next, we have character spacing. So in here you have narrow or wide. The next option is character width. We have narrow or normal. Moving on, we have the vertical option, so you can turn the vertical feature on or off. And last but not least is the mirror print. This will create a mirror image of the print. Now the next button over is this one here, and this is going to be your font style. So this includes normal, italic, bold, outline, shadow, shadow and outline, bold and italic, outline and italic, shadow and italic, shadow outline and italic. Lots of different options there. And last but not least, we have this button here with the ABC inside of a frame, and this is where you can access the frames. Now this printer has 89 frames built in. There's tons of options there. Once you select it, use your arrow keypad to scroll through all the different options, and when you find the one you want, just press return and it'll apply it to your label. So that was part one of formatting your labels with the LWPX300. Check out part two to dive into formatting. And if you have questions about your labels, we would love to talk with you. Thanks again and happy labeling.